14 WILI and 95.3 FM presents Hometown Threads, a closer look at our community and the people that make it go. Every week, you'll hear uplifting stories from our local businesses and our neighbors. Now, here's our host for Hometown Threads, Keith C. Rice. Hey, Keith C. Rice back in here for episode 69 of Hometown Threads on 14 WILI and 95.3 FM and Willimantic Today Facebook and the WILI Radio YouTube channel. Uh, we strongly suggest you hit the subscribe button. It's WILI Radio. Subscribe to our YouTube page. And for those of you who still have cable, you can actually watch it on cable too. Spectrum Channel 192. Uh, Hometown Threads comes your way every Tuesday from 5.05 to 5.30. Uh, courtesy of our friends at Liberty Bank. Be community kind with three great local locations right across the street from the radio station, 679 Main Street. Uh, of course, West Main Street down at Gateway Commons. Uh, that's that, you got Liberty Bank down there. And Route 195 up the road in Mansfield, Liberty Bank. Be community kind. J. Matt Rupar, if you wouldn't mind, say hello to the fine folks. Hello. And here we go, Hometown Threads. Of course, you can also listen to it, uh, the podcast, at WILI.com. Uh, we have a sponsor for the podcast, too. That's uh, Tripoli Pro Clean Services. So here we go, episode 69. I have Alejandro Quiros, yep. right? Yep. And Ellie Ortega. Yes. Right? Okay. Uh, they, uh, this is uh, uh, their fiance, uh, is your fiance, yep. Alejandro, and that's Ellie is your fiance, and they are the uh, owners. Well, you're yep. the owner, right? Are you guys yeah. co owners? or? Well, I'm the owner, and this is. The face of the company. Face of the company. I love it. A and A Mobile Detailing yeah. Services LLC. Can't forget the LLC. It's very important. Yeah. Very important. A and A Mobile Detailing Services. Uh, Alejandro and Ellie came to my rescue a few weeks ago in an accident uh, in my car. All of the dashboard and well, the whole interior was a complete mess. <laughs> and and uh, let me tell you, the big thing about A and A Mobile Detailing Services. We're going to learn all about the business. But they, you guys, they come to you. They yes. come to you. And they came to me right here at the radio station. Now, uh, before we get into, you know, and, and, and Ellie, is, you said the face of the company, she yep. keeps you in line, right? Yeah. Yep. So okay. what she does, she basically preps everything from the chemicals to diluting the chemicals to getting the stuff ready for the next day, the next tax that we have. Um, so she always makes sure that we have the drying towels, the interior towels, the wheel towels, like everything. She goes through everything. Wow, so, she's the glue. She's yeah, the glue. Yeah, so basically I just like to promote the business and, you know, make sure that all the chemicals that we need, we use the perfect dilution. We make sure that we bring and when we leave, we leave a show car in your driveway. So you don't have to do anything. You just have to sit back and relax. and Boy, uh, you so. guys did a phenomenal job. It was a couple days before we were supposed to go on vacation. And, um, well, we'll get to that in just a sec. But you just reminded me of my on-the-side DJ business where my wife is, you know, she does all the setting up and all the, you know, <laughs> I'm on the business calls and stuff like that. But yeah. it's always good to, uh, you know, have the wife or, in your case, the fiancé there helping you. It's always good to have that extra hand. Sounds like you do a lot, Ellie. Welcome to the show. I know you're a little shy, so feel free. If he yeah. says anything, you keep him in line. You jump in and just, <laughs> at any time. Yeah. But uh, before we get into learning about Alejandro and, and Ellie um, and the business, uh, don't hold back. How bad was the interior of my car uh, a few weeks ago? Um, don't hold back. All right, let's say from a 1 to 10. Here we go, with 10 being the worst. Here right, we go. 10 being the worst, let's say we were at a 15, guys. But no! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean, no, we, I'm, it just, it's, it's hard to scale. You've seen a lot, but we've seen, oh my God. We've seen it, worse. Really? We've let's, seen, let's hear some of this. Make me feel better. Well, <laughs> I, when I first started, you know, like I said, it started back in 2021 when I first legally got my LLC and everything, but I always been a fan of cars and I always love to have a nice car, nice clean car and everything. So it first started, like I said, I was still living with my parents at that time. I was, you know, a young guy in Willimantic, always going to rack, playing softball. Well, not playing softball, but hanging out with the guys there and everything. So one day I was washing my car and, you know, one of my friends swung by and he asked me. And then I'm pretty known in the with the Willimantic cops. A lot of them are really Good friends. Good to guys me. around here. Yeah, Paul Hussey so, and his crew. Yeah. Who's yeah. Like, so I actually Paul? know all the like the old the um, the old ones like Haggerty. Haggerty. Yeah, I just saw Haggerty. Mike yeah, Haggerty. Mike Haggerty. He just showed up at my trivia night a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Haggs, so Haggerty right? Glow, yeah. Officer Glow. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So I know a lot of them. Pariso. Sure. Officer Pariso. Uh, name sounds familiar. Pero Grande. 
Back uh, in the day when he used to come around yeah, and like so. Milk Street and all that I stuff. I probably know if I saw him. But I know yeah, Ags real well. But, right, so, so I know a lot of them and, you know, one of them swung by and he was like, oh, why don't you detail my truck? And I was like, ah, uh, we're not doing this. Like, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't know much about it. But, you know, I told him, yeah, sure, why not? And with social media nowadays being so big, he shouted me out. A couple of people from the Willie PD he reached out to me. More friends from the community started reaching out to me family as well and you know i just started from small thing doing it at the house to so keep going this is an amazing this is 2021 this is an amazing yeah. story this is kind of like you, i think you told me before right yeah 2021 so you still at that point were like okay it's fun yeah. but i don't know if i yeah. want to be i don't know if i'm serious about it so. yeah so then i at that time well this kind of started in 2020 2021 so it was like a slash that's when i met ellie too so you know she we met and she's from new haven it was traveling over there to like catering the the business to work in a full time job, which it was like we had to we would see each other probably like twice a week and you know it what was, was your other job? What was your other job? I was uh, doing carpentry at the time. I was building houses. So <laughs> that was your full time job, full-time carpentry. Job. Yeah, carpentry, and yeah. you were doing detailing on the sites. Okay, on the side, and you just yeah. met Ellie, so and I just met Ellie, so that's how it started, and then you know me and Ellie went on for a year or so and. We ended up having our beautiful child. His name is Jacoby. Beautiful kids. <laughs> beautiful kids, by the way. Yeah, so we had him in we had him in 2021. So we registered the business in March. Then we had Jacoby in September. And that's when COVID came in. Yeah. That's when COVID hit. And I was like, it was hard because it was like September when we had Jacoby. So then you had October, which is a cold month. The business was like not really booming because it was cold nobody wanted to you know clean their cars because our business is usually like temporary like basically more in like the spring the summer sure. some of the fall so it was coming down the business was like slow job was slow because in the winter too you can't do much in carpentry i was gonna and say it, carpentry you're yeah, still doing that so right? it was yeah. it was a tough year for us and you know me always wanting to be a big family because i have a huge family uh, shout out to them. They always helped me with the business. They always, you know, reached out to Say me. Say hi to your family, mom and dad. <laughs> mom and dad, amazing, uh, amazing person. What are their amazing names? People. Hugo and Leticia. Man, shout out to them. <laughs> so go but, ahead. So now you, your, your children are, you're apart, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so then she told me she had to talk to me and I was like, oh my God, what did I do? So <laughs> I was like, oh my God. What, what so you're I at I a do? crossroads. Yeah. So she tells me, uh, I'm expecting. And I was like, whoa. I was like, we... The first one or the second? The second one. The second. So, Jacoby was born September 24, 2021. Okay. And then our beautiful daughter came to this world September 22nd, 2022. What's her so, name again? Uh, Ariella. Ariella. Yeah. Okay, so, so, uh, so go ahead. So, they're 363 days apart. Wow. <laughs> Literally. That is amazing. Yeah. I mean, they're a handful. Trust me. If you want to have kids back to back... It's like having God twins. God bless you guys. It's like having twins, honestly. So you're at this crossroads now. You're I'm So business is slow. My job is slow. And we're, you know, barely making it through. And I was like, it's going to take off. It's going to take off. And then um, my boss decided to retire. And I was like, all right, well, thank you. You know, me with um, being an amazing worker that I am. And my, um, you know, my parents with the background that they have always pushing me to accomplish more and you know i got another full-time job and um i still kept with the business i still did it you know as a side job a a weekend um hustle kind of thing and you know now we got to the point where it's 2024 i'm networking with more people i met great people like you there's more people um contacting me i think it was part of that story you told me uh, the day i saw you where you guys worked on my car and uh, i was after you had done so by the way they were out there for three hours (laughs) and it was i couldn't believe it was i felt like i had a brand new car when i walked (laughs) out there It it was an amazing job but that story you told me after where you weren't sure and uh you gave Ellie a kiss or something like that. And oh, then, yeah. And then well, there was a time that... Set that up. Set that up. There was a time that he came to me, and, like, you know, I knew there, there was something wrong with him, and I told him, like, what's wrong? And he was first out crying to me and gave me a hug, and I'm like, what's wrong? He was like, babe. I'm like, what? He's <laughs> like, nobody's calling me for details. And I was like, it's okay, honey. I'm like, you're just starting. You know, it's going to take some time. And he was like... No, baby. He was like, I got no cards for this week, no cards for next week. And I told him, 
babe, you gotta have some faith. I'm like, I'm telling you, they're gonna call you. I'm telling you, they're gonna call you. And I gave him a big hug. I'm like, watch, you're gonna see. The next day he calls me, he's like, babe, I got details for this week. I got details for next week. And I'm like, what did I tell you? Like, Nelly, <laughs> you use the F word. <laughs> faith. faith. Yeah. Amen. That's the story you were telling me, Ellie. Thank you so that was, mm -hmm. and that's when it really got, uh, yeah, it brings a tear to you, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's an amazing story. And ever since then, you guys have been off and running. And uh, so that was so that was right. Uh, Twenty was that still during the pandemic? Uh, 2022. 2022. 2022. Yeah. Because yeah. So you guys have been off and running since. And was it that time or during that time where you said, okay, we're going uh, full uh, uh, step on the gas, no pun intended, and yeah. make it a full time business? Because were, was carpentry still in the mix in 22 or what? No. So I left carpentry 2022, and that's when I started working at Scott's Marker Grow. So where where Scott's Miracle Girl? They provide like mulch and all that stuff. Oh, it's okay. A huge that's you're, okay. Yeah, it's a huge. So talk job. a little about that. You did a little of that. Uh, I Just, do a little bit of heavy equipment operating. This. But you're doing that. Yeah. Until you got the business. Yeah. So yeah. I've been doing that for two, three years on and off and stuff too, and um, starting July, I'm taking my leap of faith with Ellie and we're pushing this business. So starting limit. next month. Yeah. You're, it's going to be nothing but detailing. Yes, and we're also going to add um, window tinting. And window tinting. This is breaking news <laughs> yeah. right here at Hometown Threads. Yeah. we got Alejandro Quiros here, Ellie Ortega, Ortega, right, I'm sorry, yeah. um, with a and Mobile Detailing Services yeah. starting in July. And by the way, they come to you. They come to you starting in July. They're going to be all detailing, and they're adding window tinting. Yeah, window So this is huge yeah. right here at Hometown yeah. Threads. Um, so how do you guys feel heading into this? I mean... How business must be good then. I mean, it could be better, obviously, yeah. but um, but uh, so, so when did you decide, okay, July, we're going to do this full time? Well, like I said, um, working at Scott's and there I work about 40 to 50 hours every week. And, you know, with my job being a part time with my business, it's a lot because, like I said, I do content. I talk to people. I have to, like, know my products. I have to know how to dilute them. You're very good you at know, networking. So. Like. <laughs> yeah. So I've been I've been networking with a lot of people right now. Like I said, 2024, I decided that we're taking this business and we're taking off. Uh, we recently had a show. I can't remember exact the exact date for the past show that we just did, but we've actually been to New York for truck shows. We really? actually, yeah, we actually did one in Connecticut as well. We done. We actually have one coming up June thirtieth. So follow yep. me on my social media. Yeah, let's get that out. It's A and A Mobile Detailing yep. Services on Instagram. Yep. Are you so guys on, on Facebook Instagram. Too? Um, yeah, what's the so, handle for Instagram? So Instagram right now, I'll tell you, it is um, AA Mobile Detailing CT. AA Mobile Detailing CT on Instagram. Yeah. Do and you then do? Face oh. and That's his uh, alarm that wakes him up every morning. <laughs> every no, every afternoon no. because I have to get to my job at four to from four to two thirty in the morning. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, which job is this now? That's a uh, heavy equipment oh. operating. Oh my yeah. God! Where's that? Uh, Scott's. Oh, Scott's. Yeah. And where's Scott's again? It's like 15 minutes from here, 11 minutes. Oh, my goodness. So, so you do that uh, 4 to 2.30 in the morning? Yeah. When And when do you sleep? Um, With two little kids? From too. 4 what? in the morning to Elliot. 8 in the morning. <laughs> my goodness gracious. So. Sounds like our friend, our coworker, John Knight. The guy never sleeps. <laughs> um, anyway, well, so. you, see, I love people that grind, and you guys grind. Yeah. Two beautiful kids. Uh, how old, what are their ages again? So two, um, two and three? So we have, um, we have three we kids. Have three. Yeah. So three the, kids. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the first one, her name is Eliana. She's turning ten July twentieth. Can't forget about Eliana. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we have Eliana, and then we have Jacoby, which she's turning three in September, and then we have Riri. That's her name. Her okay. nickname. After Rihanna. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> so I realize, but we call her Riri. Um, Ala, my son's name as actual name. It's Alejandro, but. Jacoby's his middle name. I always loved that name, and we call him Jacoby. Nobody calls him Alejandro, but it's so. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness! So when he's sleeping from four, what four a.m. to eight a.m. Mm -hmm. Well, Ellie, Ellie's she running the running the house. We're taking the kids certain places, and yeah. and mean, probably tired, take, helping with yeah. the business, yeah. Yeah. taking phone calls and all that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Obviously, he sees his kids from Monday to Friday at least, and not even an hour from Monday to Friday. Uh -huh. Like he'll see them in the morning, but he gets too tired obviously because wow. he worked. And at night, I mean, well, as soon as he would have worked, 
that's the time that I pick up the kids around four. So he'll be you'll be going to work at four yeah. today, mm -hmm. and then you don't you don't he see him until he comes in at two thirty in the morning. Two, yeah, mm -hmm. good for you, man. I, I respect people that can. Uh, yeah, yeah, so. We've all been done those kind of crazy shifts just to get where we want to get, and that's that's what it's all about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, but as of July, yeah. What, uh, what, you're, you're going to be saying goodbye to Scott's, or are you still going to work there? Well, um, they, would, like I said, um, Scott's also, <coughs> it's a, um, they have, it's a seasonal job, too, oh, seasonal. if you want it. It could be, you know, they can hire you or whatever you want to do, but I always took it as seasonal because they lay you out for a certain amount of okay. time. And I spoke to my boss, and he was great. He gave me a couple months off that I asked him for. And, you know, further down the future, I don't know, like I said, I'm, I'm planning for the business to take off as big as I can. But, you know, only in God's hands. And like I said, I may not where I may not be where I want to be, but I'm where God wants me to be. That's so the way you honestly, look at it. Like, I just got to. And that's the like, exciting yeah. part. I, think about, I can't believe you <laughs> yeah. just said because I think about that every day, too. Yeah. This is the path. This is where yeah. I'm supposed to be yeah. here with the 40 right now with J. Matt Rupar. Ellie, Alejandro, and this mm. it's, it's exciting because yeah. you don't know where the path's going to go yeah. next. And you, you guys yeah. both nailed that. <laughs> um, so, but July 1, you'll, uh, how many, how about this, how many um, cars do you do a week at this point? So right now we average about, it can range from four, four cars to eight cars a week. Okay. But the thing is that, like, we can go through a car in, let's say, an hour or so, but I want to make sure that every car that leaves my site, I get that wow factor from the customer. How many and times did I say wow? <laughs> I know. And honestly, we... passed out. <laughs> <laughs> so many, like, you know, that's what we... We, we want to focus on one car and, and, you know, like, yeah, all the, may, all the work come to me, but... We want to make sure that we perfect every car that we send out. I will say this, and this is another fact. I'm going back to my car for a second. This is how bad it, and uh, I, as I said, I needed it uh, like that next day, and Alejandro and Ellie saved the day. <laughs> but this tells you, he, he, he only could do the interior, which I said, that's all I need. Thank you. <laughs> This tells you how bad my interior was. He says normally a regular, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. normally a, a regular car takes an hour. What, out, oh. do, out, out exterior and interior? Well, like... My interior took three hours. <laughs> my interior yeah, took three uh, hours. I mean, the worst that we've done was we did one and I actually timed it. It took us about 16 hours. Exterior to, and interior? No, 16 hours just for the interior. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. That's okay. No, so, that one was... Let me tell you something. It was... I don't know how. Come we on, what kind of stuff it. did you see? Let's see. Mold. Oh, mold. mold? Uh, oh, like rat poop. Oh, <laughs> you see a lot, a lot of things. Um, don't forget the dirty tampons. Oh my god, dirty <laughs> tampons. Yes. Oh my god, that was the worst. Let's let's not go there. But always, okay, always, was always bad, use gloves, guys, for whatever you do. Either you know, with whatever cleaning service that you have, always wear the proper things that you need for your health and for your customers as well that you have to think about them and what you bring to the car some some of us don't know but you know a lot of things can you know come into play when you're opening somebody's car you know if you have drinks or something like that keep them in your car and i have an eight like or i have an eight or drank since they did my car i said i even told you now my wife stuck stuff in she, <laughs> i go i looked at her last time i go it wasn't anything i'm like I'm not eating it that's what she was uh yeah, I, I let her pass. She didn't make a mess, but uh, I, me, I have yet to. And I used to be, well, you saw the, the mess it was. <laughs> I, I was a big fan of eating my car yeah. because you're always on the go. And um, but anyway, so yeah, so oh, and um, it, it's it's hard. Like like I I understand you. Like you're always on the go, as we are always on the go too. Like sometimes when you have you kids, like to, I mean, yeah, you know what? It's, I don't have kids, yeah. but you know, kids will throw stuff all over the oh, car, yeah. probably right. Yeah. yeah. Goldfish so, or that kind of uh, stuff. Goldfish, <laughs> you know, nuggets, chicken nuggets, rice, yeah, you name it. So, so, what is when it comes to cleaning, like say my interior or anybody's or the the uh, the one that took you sixteen hours? <laughs> what's the key to your detailing service uh, or any other for that matter? Getting that stuff out, like what do you? Uh, there's got to be a time like just, I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. Like so that that it's 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 a funny point that you brought that up because this past weekend I actually went to do a leather restoration, and what we do with the leather restoration so we do all this um it's a point four points um 
correction so we we first we clean the the seat then we steam clean it then we clean it again we sanitize it and then we also add a um it's a man it's a conditioner it's a conditioner okay. so it helps it last longer because if you think about it you know you're leaving your car outside Okay, normal person works eight hours, right? You're leaving your car outside unattended for eight hours where there's no protection on your on your center console. There's no protection on your leather. And within time, you know, that starts cracking up and breaking. Yeah. And when you take these steps, you know, you you have to know your product because, like I said, I went to do those um, those seats, and I'm over here scrubbing, steam cleaning, and I'm hitting, and I'm doing all the things that I do, you know, for the three years that I've been doing it and I can't get it off. And I'm like, what's going on? It looks so dirty. So, what do you do? So I kept, you know, with the knowledge that I have, I saw a plastic piece with another color. And I was like, wait, what's going on here? So I kept, you know, playing with the, with the, with, with chemicals, diluting it and, and stuff like that. So I noticed that the seats were sprayed with a tan from a previous detailer or somebody that How cleaned you, them to what? me. What? Yeah, so I saw that they were sprayed with like a tan. And they sprayed them and they, they over sprayed the plastics. And I called the customers. And how I noticed it was because the it, it was a third row um, Escalade. But they didn't flip. Is it the, Escalade? Yeah. Please. So they didn't flip the third row seats. And I noticed because I cleaned the third row seat nice and clean, and I added the the um, the conditioning, and they looked amazing. But then when you got to the middle and the in the front, I think the previous person or however they got the car, they went through all the other ones, but they they didn't see the third row, and that's where they messed up. So and that's yeah. what separates uh, yeah. your detailing company from anybody else's. Yeah. That is a brilliant move, my friend. Yeah, so I had to call the customer to come outside. So they saw the overspray. They saw that the leather you and, and you could you could feel the leather like it was like more stiffer than the one in the back because of the the overspray that it did. They they put like a dye or something and yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> All right, the final few minutes. Look, I'm yeah. gonna first. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna. Um, Mention the business a few more times here before we uh, say goodbye. ANA Mobile Detailing Services, 860-336-8427. Of course, you can go to, and what's the, you have a website, do you? Or you just uh, not not a media? website, yeah. So okay, we just so have Facebook and Instagram. Do the uh, do the Instagram yeah. handle again. It's A. Yeah, yeah so the Instagram, oh, sorry, it's, it's um, the Instagram, it's 8A Mobile Detailing CT. AA Mobile Detailing CT. If yeah. you miss any of this, you can always reach out to me, Keith C. Yeah. Rice. These guys are fantastic. Uh, they're up and coming. They're already there. This business is taking off. They come to you. And they've yeah. added window tinting as well. It's A&A yeah. &A Mobile Detailing Services. Uh, what's it say? Making America Shine Again. <laughs> did you go over that? Uh, yeah. I, I love did. it. It was when the when Trump was, you know, being Doing like, <laughs> make, make America Great Again. Make America I Great Again. And I saw it and I was like... I'm making America shine again. You guys are brilliant. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I, a lot of people don't don't really pay attention to like that fine print, and I wanted to make it, you know, like not to be too too like out there. But when that person sees it, it's oh my god! Out. Someday <laughs> I know we'll get to it eventually. Yeah. You some other, we're I'm gonna make you a commercial eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. We are. A mobile detailing services <laughs> making America shine again. <laughs> All right, uh, before we get ready to wrap things up, because we've got the neighborhood coming yeah. up next here on WILI, um, Alejandro, Ellie, you're from New Haven originally, Ellie. Yes. Alejandro, you grew up in the Lamantic. Yeah. Uh, both of you, you can jump right in here. I always give my guests the opportunity to shout out and show love to people who have helped you or uh, really shown you a lot of love on, on both your journeys. So, uh, Alejandro, you, you know, Ellie, if you want to jump in after, whoever wants to go first. So, first of all, to my parents, actually, they always, you know, been there for me to thick and thin and you know they always help me with everything and they put up with all my messes so shout out to in the car parents. or outside the car too ah both both <laughs> <just> say both <laughs> you, you, hey, wait are your cars clean um we'll get to don't that lie. Later. Get we'll to get to that later <laughs> <laughs> well they have but yeah, beautiful shout, kids shout out too. to my to um you know most of my friends that have reached out you know there's some that reached out some that don't but you know shout out to the ones that do and 
you know, for everybody following me on Instagram, Facebook, thank you so much. It's always, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions to do yourself or stuff, like you guys need help with any chemicals, over reach out. I'm, I'm more than well, more than willing to help you guys out. And even if you want to start your own detailing business, reach out to me. I'll oh, be willing to help you. Why not? I tell you, I, I feel like I've known you forever. It's only been a few weeks. Yeah. Ellie, you want to shout out or show love to anyone? I will say I will show love too. Of course, my fiance Alejandro. For Let's get a little kiss on camera here. Come on, come on, do it, do it for the camera. Oh, I love it. I would say he'd really yeah. come a long way from the, from how he started and how it is now. To he's becoming big for me. He is, and so, I'm very proud of him. Anytime you guys, you know, I'm so glad I met you guys, both of you. And I'm, I'm going to be, you know, I'm, that's why I wanted you on Hometown Threads. Thank you. you continue to get your name out there. a and Mobile Detailing Services, yeah. LLC, uh, 860-336-8427. Alejandro, Ellie, thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. Well, I know we'll be in touch. I'll, I'll, be, I'll mess up my car again. Soon, so. <laughs> Jay Matt yeah. Rupert, thank you. Anybody that needs it, we're here. Um, and they like come said, to you. They come yeah, to you. Yeah, we come to you, and you. We just gotta. The only thing we gotta do is talk on the phone, arrange a time, and it's uh, we'll go put on the show for you. No, they they do put on a show. <laughs> thank you to Liberty Bank, be community kind. That'll do it for episode sixty nine. Thank you for listening, and thank you for watching. And in the words of the great Roddy McCumber, bye for now, folks. Bye for now. And that concludes another edition of Hometown Threads. Got a story for Keith? Reach out to him on Facebook by searching Keith C. Rice or email him at krice at hallradio.net. Don't forget to tune in next week on 14 WILI and 95.3 FM as well as the Willimantic Today page on Facebook.